What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we are playing as Jin on the PBE. This is League of Legends new champion, the new, well, what we're assuming is a marksman. I'm actually not exactly sure where he's best played, but they were saying he's a marksman, so we will play him that way. Now, honestly, I don't have a whole lot of a good clue of what Jin does. He looks cool as shit. Um... But I will attempt to give you guys the extent of um, my understanding of this champion. And while I'm speaking, we'll go ahead and go through his emotes, too. But, it's... <laughs> okay, that was adorable. But, <laughs> apparently, Jin works kind of like uh, Graves in the sense that he has the reloading mechanic. And... You know, everyone was complaining to Riot, they were like, Riot, 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 stop giving us these fucking three-hit things, or these three-hit passives. And they are like, alright, you know, we hear you, and we acknowledge your opinion, and we respect that, so we're just going to give you a four-hit passive instead. So that's what they did, that's what they gave us, and that's what we're rolling with. So, as you can see though, my fourth shot does give me a stronger, um... Hit. I believe it's always a crit as well. And oh, that looks so cool! And then it takes me just a little second to reload. No big deal. And let's just see how this goes. So I have no idea what the Q does. Um, honestly, I think it hits like four things and bounces. Let's go ahead and boom! Look at that damage. Holy shit. I actually didn't even notice his, uh, his attack range. That's pretty long. 550. That is a decent range on that. So get that big shot off right there, and let's just shoot this cue and see what it does. See, with my knowledge, yeah, it just is a bouncing projectile that uh, locks onto things. So, laying against a Draven Soraka lane should be fun, should be fun indeed. It looks like, let's see, I know, is my, my W is my deadly flourish, so what, what the hell? That's so long? Holy shit, holy shit! Wow, <laughs> that looks so cool. Okay, so hold on. We need to read this. I heard it was a slow. If it, oh, it's it's only, only if they have my E applied to them. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So what the heck? He's doing this. Get out of here, son. Big damage going off right there. Good trade. But Soraka just Soraka'd it up. So you know, as as usual. Let's go ahead and just see. Mm. That looks so cool. All right, there goes the summoner heal. Okay, <laughs> that's that's definitely something. I'll give him that. That is definitely something. So look at that little bouncing canister. Let's see what this does. I think this is the trap, and it's kind of like a. Apparently, it's kind of like a Caitlyn trap and a Nidalee trap at the same time. So let's see what it does. Trap leaves behind a zone that slows everything inside by 35%. Detonates after two seconds. And apparently, it just does, let's see. When Jin kills an enemy champion, a Lotus Trap will spawn and detonate where they were killed. That's pretty neat. But, it does, um, it does go invisible. That's the big cool thing about it, is uh, it does actually go fully invisible. So, let's go ahead and just keep on laying in here, though. Not really any use in trying to, you know, push the envelope on anything too quickly here. Because we are still just trying to learn how things work a little bit. I will be taking a little bit of damage here, but I will be able to just skedaddle on out of here. And <laughs> the fucking Soraka Draven lane, dude. It's such a dream lane when you're playing as the, uh, you know, as the Draven. I'm going to go ahead and just get myself out of this one. So let's go ahead and see here. This could be something, uh, this could be kind of a fight I want to take. And I mean, maybe... If he goes for me, I do have my f heal. All right. He's not going for it, so I'm not going to bust my heal. And I'm not going to push my luck too much because, actually, you know, I totally could push my luck really hard here. <laughs> do that little long-range poke on him. I like it. So let's... You know what? Should I back or should I push my luck? I'm going to push my luck. Fuck it, dude. Because I'm a thug. Bitch, I'm a thug. So let's go ahead and just see here. I'm not going to... Not gonna push it so much that you know I'm gonna fucking die or nothing, but uh, you know I'm gonna definitely push it. So I am just going to level up my Q first this game. I'm not sure if that's the right thing to max first, but it will be what I'm going for um, for sure. Now one thing to note about Jin is that um, 
with his abilities, or not his abilities, with his stats, Jin actually doesn't gain attack speed or crit chance, to my knowledge. His attack speed and crit chance actually increases um, his flat damage. It makes it so you deal more physical damage um, instead of actually doing more critting or attacking faster and apparently the fourth bullet always crits and deals bonus damage equal to 15 percent of the target's missing health i knew it always crit but i didn't know that last part so that last part's pretty cool but it looks like the draven will come back with double long swords we will come back with the pickaxe and we'll see how this lane keeps on going so let us see how this goes get that big hit off on him right there just like that, like that, and maybe, boom, there's that snare, and just like that, some more damage going off. And Soraka not going to be able to do a lot to us there. And maybe let's just go ahead and, whoop, oh, that didn't bounce. Rip the bounce, all right. Oh, well, go ahead and just keep it up here, and we'll get one more auto, and there's the stand aside, an interesting stand aside to say the least. We'll throw a locust trap in there, I believe, or the captive audience, I like calling them lotus traps. Because that's exactly what they are. Um, <laughs> there's really no way around it. That's exactly what they are. So, so far though, laning does seem pretty cool. If it was anyone other than Soraka, I feel like Jin does have uh, what looks like a very dominant laning phase so far. Because if you guys haven't been able to tell, we have been really keeping up really well with a Draven. Um, and by keeping up, I mean we've been kind of like annihilating him in these trades. Just like that, and let's go ahead and just snare him just like that. Get some good damage off in there. That's going to be a lot of pain going off on his face. And just look at that, dude. It does so much damage. I think it actually ramps up in damage every time it uh, actually kills the target. So that, that's really good. And let's see. Oh, that was a really good snare. And there goes the flash. There goes both of their summoner heals. Good job, Morgana. Picking that up will be very good in this lane indeed. But, you know, Soraka being Soraka is just going to Soraka it the fuck up and make this as boring as it could possibly be. But, actually, all things considered, even though it is Soraka, I'm still having a grand old time. And it looks like since she backed, this is our chance to go a little more aggressive, but, it's, you know, we're definitely not going to be able to go for a kill. So... With Jin's ultimate, since we are going to be getting that relatively soon here, I do want to take a second and talk about it. Because I'm not... Uh, okay. I don't know if this last shot would have killed him. No, it wouldn't have killed him. Alright, Master Yi can get this kill though. Master Yi, Master Yi, Master Yi, you got the kill, buddy? Uh, no? Ma Master Yi? <laughs> <laughs> there was a there was a Jin day. He was pretty low. Okay, okay, all right, okay. But let's see here. It looks like a lot of damage going off here. Morgana ultimate. Let's shoot the ultimate. What is going on? All right, one kill going in there. Kablamo! Look at that pain. And what the fuck was that? That was the coolest thing ever. What the heck just happened? Alright, looks like Shen gonna go for this. Will he get it though? He will! Flash! Boom! There's the kill! That will put me at 2-0 now with the Jin. Nice taunt, Shen. We'll pick that up. And that was good stuff. So that fucking ultimate though. Hold on, let's just talk about that for a second. That was fucking rad. <laughs> what? Jin sets up in channels, enabling him to fire four super shots at extreme range in a, in a cone in front of him. And, you know, that was fucking awesome. He, he honestly feels like a Xerath AD carry. This is actually really fun. So, apparently, they do a lot of damage um, based on, you know, how much health people are missing. And apparently... They stop on the first champion hits, um, and I, I don't know how else to explain it. The best way for me to explain it is that it's literally Xerath Ultimate and Varus Q. That, that's literally the best way I can think of explaining it. So, we actually are CSing relatively well, especially in comparison to the Joctor Draven here. And we got our BF Sword now, so a lot of damage 
has come into our pocket here. Sad days, dude. Unlucky. And let's see. Oh, there's the Jin ultimate from the enemy team. And it looks like he is trying to throw down the snipers. And there's the Chrono Break coming out. That's going to be some big damage coming in. And not enough to, well, stop us. Master Yi going to get a double kill, though. And come on. Come on. Just land that. There's the Q. There's the auto. Whoop. Get the snare. And all right. You know what? I got a bone to pick with you, Mr. Enemy Jin. Mr. Enemy Jin. All right, hang on, hang on. You know what? Still got a bone to pick with him. I still got, I still got quite the bone to pick with him. Do I? All right. It looks like. Uh oh, not gonna land. What is going on? All right, hang on. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the ultimate here. So, whoop, boom, one kill and kablam. No one else, but knowing exactly where he was will know exactly where to shoot so double buff going in there nicely done morgana with that ultimate coming in huge that fucking ultimate is so goddamn cool <laughs> it just looks so awesome so let's go ahead and throw some more lotus chaps in here and we'll go ahead and just q and w straight through the wave because apparently i think that's like your primary wave clear in all honesty is Jin. Uh, oh, the snare will land, and it's looking like that's going to be some big damage. Not going to be enough, though. Rampage coming out. Just absolutely, you know, displaying my auto attack prowess and bonk. All right, let's see it. And whoop. Oh, not going to land that one, but you. Boom. So let's see. Let's see. We'll throw another trap there as well. Should be some good stuff. Go, You know, go ahead and just take a second and reload. So. Oh, no. My trap. What? Oh, okay, lag spike. <laughs> I was like, how the fuck did that snare not hit? But there was definitely a lag spike there. That it seems was experienced by everyone. So, you know, I could definitely... I definitely think that um, getting Essence Reaver is going to be really good on this guy. Uh, so we're actually going to, you know, change pace a little bit and go directly for that. So, uh, Ionian Boots... I'm trying to think, should I go for Ionian Boots, or should I go for the Berserker Greaves, because they would actually give me more AD. And if I go for a Essence Reaver, and then go for something like a Yomu's... Oh, Yomu's could be really good with that bonus move speed, and the bonus attack speed that would be even more AD in the Penetration. I think that's what I'm going to go for. I think we'll go for Berserker Greaves, and then we'll get an Essence Reaver, probably a Rapid Fire Cannon, um, you know, as our crit item. And we'll grab, let's see, we'll grab, actually Trinity Force might be decent. I don't want to say good, I don't want to, you know, say anything, you know, definitively at all. But, you know, thinking out loud here, I think Trinity Force could actually, you know, it's got some potential merit in this. In all honesty, but maybe that's just like my opinion or something. Um, which, I mean, I guess I'm allowed to have one of them every now and then. So let's see, the snare will not land. Not today. So, go ahead and just smack these auto attacks. Should be a big one right here. Boom! Look at that. Well, that wasn't that much damage, but it still looked pretty cool. So, ooh, the snare has been lined up. Perfect kill right there. Uh-oh. And there's the curtain call. Oh, my Morgana intercepting all the shots. That's my girl. Good job, Morgana. And... Wait, why can't I shoot my W? Boop. Look at that cool ass damage. So throw this Q right there, bounce and do some big pain on him. And I gotta admit, I'm not too sure uh, what uh, what this new Shen does. So I'm a little scared of him. I'm a little scared of him. So we'll go ahead and see if we can bounce, bounce, bounce. And dude, I wonder how strong that would be if you can kill three minions and then just smack an enemy on that fourth one. So what's this? Okay. <laughs> I stepped on it and it disappeared. I gotta admit, kind of confused. And I'm okay. Whoa! It's curtains for you, little boy! God damn it! I'm not gonna find them. I saw it too late. I'm the worst. All right. Let's see. And boo! Oh, I so I guess you know I missed it. His vagina was a little bit uh, too wide for us, for my taste. And let's see. Uh oh. Maybe. Oh, dude. 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 Come on. Why is Soraka gotta be Soraka? Man, come on, dude. Come on, man. Oh, I don't have any mana. Fuck! Alright, I need to get out of here. Whoa, Echo trying to make plays. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm getting so thirsty for these. 
I'm getting so thirsty for the kills, yeah. I'm getting bloodthirsty. I'm getting I'm getting so bloodthirsty. Oh god, I could have done that. <laughs> I could have done it. Shit. Alright, it's okay. It's okay. Essence Reaver has been finished. I originally was going for the Infinity Edge, as you guys saw. But I think Essence Reaver is going to be a much better choice here. So, whoa! Chrono Break! We'll get one kill there. And the trap for the assist. One more auto attack. Boom! Two assists coming out. Yeah, brother! <laughs> There's going to be some good stuff there. Mm, yeah, good stuff. So, let's see. Level up our W again. The root duration actually increases as we level it up. So, that's pretty rad. Um, good to know. And that range is just so ridiculous. It's like a Jinx app that just goes through everything and does, is awesome. So. <clears throat> Wait, so can my auto, normal autos crit? Oh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, nail that snare. Kib. All right, you know what? As much as I know that wasn't intentional, god damn it. <laughs> we too strong. We too fucking beefy. So. Unfortunately, it's looking like it's curtains for this boy. Easy kill going down there. As you know, we uh, obviously were a huge part of that with our one auto attack on that Jin. So, you know, good job us. Let's go ahead and just see what we can do here. And boom, look at that pain. And snare coming not out because I missed. Good job. Good job. Well done. <laughs> well done. Truly well done. Superb. We'll go ahead and throw some lotus traps in here. And let's see, maybe... Oh, those are triggered. Oh, those are triggered by the minions. I didn't know that. Okay. Well, bummer. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and do some good damage here, and we'll snare her up. Oh, that's going to be some good damage. Throw the flash. One more. Boom. That's going to be some good pain. And Velkaz, no, going to take me out. 6-1-6 six, and six now. Shen Ultimate coming in, but Master Yi Alpha striking. Will he get it? He will get the kill. That's one kill, and it's definitely not going to be more because they are, ooh, he is not going to survive this one. <laughs> he is definitely not going to survive this one. So let's see. Grab this zeal. And wow. Wait, hang on. So 259 AD. Getting Berserker Greaves gives me 15 AD. Almost 14. Damn, dude. That's like, that's actually a decent amount. That's a long sword and a half. Just like my penis. Like, it's literally a long sword and a half. So, with our ultimate at level 2 now. It is definitely going to be time for the show to start and see if we can make these people beautiful by absolutely murdering them. So, with that in mind, let's see, who's our jungle? It's a master, yeah, I shouldn't be taking buffs. What is the hell? What? What the fuck is that? A runic echoes? H hang on here, hang on. 100 charges, next damaging spell hit, expends all charges. You know, what? Why would he get that? He's Master Yi. I mean, it sounds kind of cool. It sounds like an upgraded Rune Glaive. But, but why would he get that one instead of, like, any other one? Alright, this is our time to shine. It's our time to snipe. It looks like Shen going to not listen at all. As Master Yi just chop, chop, chops him. And wouldn't it be enough? It's looking like it will not. So good night, buddy. Good night, Soraka, and maybe... Uh-oh. Oh, hello! Kablam! That's gonna be an easy kill going down there as I also pick up Grunkalunk. It seems we have, uh, spotted an enemy. Yes. Yes, indeed. So, apparently, you actually can't take any actions at all while you're, uh, reloading your gun. I've noticed this, and it's kind of actually dicked me over. <laughs> Just a little bit. Not like a lot, but a very tiny bit. So... Let's go ahead and just see if we can get this W straight through this wave here. Throw a Q, let it bounce all over them. You know, you know, jiggle a little bit, wiggle jiggle, and bounce like that as well. 7-1-7 seven, and seven so far. Great game coming out here, and maybe plow! Oh, what? Gonna miss that. So let's see, whoa! And come fuck And come fuck And one more! Come on! Where the hell are you? She's too talented! Alright, let's see it. Maybe kablam! Not gonna work. Then, you know what? I guess mistakes were made and such. And boop! Bonk! <laughs> oh, that was adorable. So let's go ahead and see here. Can I shoot my W, please? It's not going. Alright, whatever. This guy is not gonna... Come on! God damn it. Alright, come on. Throw this Q. Alright, you know, it's not gonna happen. 
Boop. So let's see how we can do this. Whoa, the Q. And, uh-oh. Dude, Jin feels, he feels really fun, but there are just a couple random times where he starts feeling just a little clunky, if that makes any sense. So, whoa, it's looking like we're going to have to start doing some kiting here if we want to succeed. It looks like there's the Shenult coming out, and it's not going to matter too much. He's not going too far, and here comes the Q. It's not going to bounce, but it looks like Master Yi, kaboom, double kill for the Yi. And it looks like they have entered the Yi zone. And hold on, hold on, hold on. Where the fuck is Draven? My ultimate's up. And, oh, hello. Oh, shit. No, no. Come on. Shen, my hero. And why am I? Yeah, brother. <laughs> That's going to make him beautiful. No, 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 no. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Go ahead and shoot that out there. Do some good damage. Let's see if I can bait this guy. So go ahead, go ahead and just boom, that's going to be an easy kill. Look at it, b -b -b baited There's the kill. Picking it up once again, 3,500 gold to go back with here. It's time for us to take a ride and get on out of town. So Shen, don't do it, Shen, don't, okay, good. So we can grab our full rapid fire cannon. We can grab, let's see, another BF sword, actually. I can grab my Farsight Alteration. And let's see what else I can grab. I can actually sell that for a Cloak of Agility. So almost 400 AD. Holy shit. 73.5 at the moment. So 400 AD with not even two full AD items. That's nuts. This is really weird, but look, I only have 0.83 attack speed. That's... This is so interesting. Like, this is actually really different. I like this. This is fucking awesome. So let's see. We should go ahead and get some more uh, CS, CS down here and uh, see if we can just, well, clear out a little more. And as you guys may have noticed, um, one thing about my uh what's it called my passive every time it goes off i do actually gain some movement speed whenever i shoot that shot so that's important to know because it does do some good stuff i started a vote to equalize the teams what what the heck is that a costume the enemy team will be granted approximately 17,000 gold. Hang on, hang on. Oh! That damage! Holy macaroni! And let's do it! Kaboom, it's curtains, baby! And... <laughs> the coolest victory screen ever! So as you can see, if it's, you know, in the middle of a curtain call, apparently it does not go to the end of the game. So, a great Jin game coming out. First experience with him was very lovely. Had a fantastic time. So, we have earned our S rank on Jin. Good job, us. 12-1 in 10 that game. Damage very high up there. 24k. Great job, everyone involved. And I, wow. This champion is fantastic. He's so fucking cool. So, I really do encourage you guys to try him as soon as you get a chance. And if you guys did also enjoy this video, make sure you do leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. If you want, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All three links will be in the description below this video. And as always, I love you guys. It'll be a wonderful day. Peace!